Hey guys, Sammy Stone here, and welcome to the first moto of Chili Cove. Keys to the race, don't mix cheese with this chili, be patiently aggressive, and don't lose it on the restarts. Essentially what these three mean, don't mix cheese with this chili. This track is going to have lots of crazy crashes and battles, you just got to be careful to get through them. Uh, be patiently aggressive. You want to be aggressive on this track, you want to make moves, but you want to kind of slowly attack the pack and just get there towards the end. And then the restart one, pretty self-explanatory. Should be a lot of caution. Should be a lot of restarts. Try to run them well. All right, so here's the track analysis. Four turns, a little under a quarter mile long, this track is. This track is really, really short. I'm actually surprised it's that long. I'm surprised it's not a shorter distance. Um, average speed of just over 60 miles an hour, which is cooking. I can't believe it's that fast. Um, lap record of just under 10 seconds. That's crazy. You can also see the degrees of banking. Very high, high, high banking in the corners on this track. Lots of different degrees of banking on this track. First row, we have optics and detail. Also, it's reversed uh, from what you see on the row counter, by the way. So, for example, right here to the right of your screen is Solange, and to the left of your screen was Turkey. In the next row, we have Luke and Cookie. And then in this row, row four, we have Commando Pack and Blades. And then we have Hunter Unit and Antique 101. Antique 101 is Vulcan, by the way. Um, row 6, we have Firmer Storm and NSA Overwatcher. Row 7, we have BT and Decoy. And in row 8, we have HTX Gamer 07. All right, off to the start. And we're green here at Chili Cove. And just in case you guys did not know, Chili Cove is a sequel, fourth iteration as we see HT unfortunately go down in the back um, and lots of crazy crazy battling in the start of this race um, this track is the fourth iteration of Chili Bowl Chili Bowl a real life track and a track that my brother Matt made in Halo 4 for the World of Outlaws series a little bit of Halo history for you guys um, so he made he made it in that we raced it several times we had many Chili Bowls in there and then we also made Chili I made Chili Dome on MCC which is the second iteration I made Chili Valley which is the third iteration on this game. I, I made uh, I made Chili Valley on this game. Uh, first iteration of Chili on this game, but third in total across Halo. And Chili Valley, we also raced World of Outlaw style. This track, we raced NASCAR style. And this is the fourth iteration of Chili Bowl across Halos. This one is probably more faithful to the original than Chili Valley. Chili Valley was kind of like an expansion. This one is pretty similar to the original. It, it really does... Um, at least to me, it really does feel like a, a sequel to the track. It doesn't feel exactly like it, but it kind of gives you that familiar feeling of, of a track like Chili Bowl with the way it races, but it's definitely not the same, so that's why I like it. Um, I forged all of the additions or iterations of, of Chili um, since Chili Bowl, so Matt forged the first one, and I've been doing the sequels since, and it is a very prestigious race in HRL. This is basically the Daytona 500, uh, Indy 500, uh, Monster Energy Cup, Monaco, you name it. Any any huge motorsport event, that's that's what this is to HRL. This is HRL's huge event, and you're definitely going to see lots of people like Detail and Luke and Turkey right here, and Opix in the lead, duke it out for, for those moto wins. Even, I mean, the overall win is definitely the ultimate goal for everybody here, but I think a lot of these drivers would just take a moto win at Chile. They, they would be happy with just taking a moto win here, and walking away with that which i mean can you blame them winning a moto win at, at one of the uh getting a moto win at one of the most prestigious tracks on the schedule i mean that's just amazing that's like winning you know a race at freaking daytona or, or even winning a shootout there so lots of lots of uh achievement on the line i would say here this is this is one of those tracks that that if you haven't won at you want to you want to knock it off the bucket list essentially and you're going to see a lot of people racing really aggressive trying to do that. And right now, you have a great example of that. Look at this line of drivers just two by two by two, especially once Cookie uh, catches up right here, which it looks like he's going to. We've got Luke and Detail just battling super hard for second out there in the front. And then for fourth, we have Turkey and Slaunch. And then for sixth, we have Cookie and Blades. And I, I say two, second, fourth, and sixth because you can't say the other positions because these guys are just too close. It is hard to tell who's in what position because it just keeps changing. They're extremely close. And this is just amazing battling. This is what Chili Cove offers. 
this iteration of Chili Bowl. It just brings amazing pack racing. And we have a move. Luke and Slaunch both decide to make the move at the same time. This is going to end very interestingly. Then slide back up the track and detail goes off the track but recovers quickly. Instant replay. They went down on that inside. And then that I think that got Luke a little loose and he got up high and and details on the outside there's just not much that detail could have done about that just ran out of track basically um that that will happen a lot here i, I guarantee you that will happen a lot here throughout the night uh three wides where, where somebody just runs out of room it is hard to run three wide here at chili cove extremely difficult and oftentimes one person generally somebody on the inside will get loose and all hell breaks loose from there <laughs> it just it just it just all goes down the drain but anyways, uh, despite detail falling out, we still have a great battle for a second. Now it's between Luke and Slaunch. Luke getting really aggressive trying to make moves on that inside. He might even pass Slaunch. He's getting super aggressive, just sliding really hard down there on the inside. Blades, on the other hand, a bit of a foil to Luke. He's a little more meticulous and a little more calculated, being very careful and waiting for the right moment to make his move right here. Blades just waiting for a, a gap to... Yo, that's probably it. Luke tried to make a, a retaliation move on Slaunch, but ended up getting loose himself. Blades is getting that speed on the outside, and then he makes the crossover move. Beautiful move by Blades. He's going to get that inside line on Luke now, but now Luke's going to have the outside. Can he battle back? We'll have to wait and see. Looks like Blades is running pretty well on that inside. I don't know if Luke's going to be able to battle back. And then Blades... Oh, it looked like he was going to pull the slide job, but then he decides to give Luke some room. And now it looks like, yep, Blades will slide up. He'll take that outside line. Whoa, watch out for HT, guys. HT must have wrecked by himself. And, well, <laughs> he's trying to, his best to blue flag right there. Turkey and, Turkey and Cookie now with a great battle right here for 5th and 6th, I believe. And, or excuse me, for 6th and 7th, I would think. Or, sorry, no, it would be 5th and 6th because detail wrecked. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> sort of sorting that out in my brain as I talk through it. Uh, so, yeah, Turkey and Cookie battling right here. Solid battle. Uh, Cookie's definitely got that run on the outside, but Turkey's just running pretty decent on the inside. He's even going to pull a slide job. Looks like Turkey's trying to go to the high side there. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, what, what, oh, no, we don't have to wait. Cookie's just going to go for it. He goes for the crossover, and it, yeah, clean crossover. Amazing crossover from Cookie. It's definitely, and then he slides up, pulls the slide job. That was like, Dirt Track 101 there from Cookie. Amazing move. I really hope we see some more moves like that throughout the night because that was just a perfect, like, textbook Dirt Track move out of Cookie to pass Turkey. Just waited for his moment, took it, and and took complete advantage. Here we have Opix in the lead, but would not be surprised if the rest of the pack catches up because he has got all kinds of lap traffic in front of him and look at this just look at the way this lap traffic is slowing up. yep slaunch is already there he's already on his bumper insane opix had a huge lead but now he's got slaunch right on his bumper directly behind him primarily because of the lap traffic if it wasn't for lap traffic opix was probably gone with this race but unfortunate for him this is not an intermediate this is not a super speedway this is a short track and lap traffic Definitely going to pay a lot of, uh, play a huge role in, in, in a short track race, especially with the amount of people we have. Slaunch does get slowed down a little bit by some lap traffic of his own right there, however, and, and, and Opix is making a solid move on the outside on BT, so, so this might work out for him in the, in the end. We'll have to wait and see. Right now, it's really un... You, you cannot know how this is going to work out for Opix. With more lap traffic, who who knows? We're just going to have to wait to the end of the race. Whoa, awesome two-wheel in there from Vulcan, I believe. Going through the pack a little bit here. That's Blades and Luke in a good battle. Blades looking to overtake Luke. Or excuse me, I think Blades passed Luke earlier, so it looks like it's the opposite of what I said. It looks like Luke's trying to take over Blades. And then here we have Cookie, who's actually caught up to Luke and Blades. So it looks like Luke and Blades have either slowed each other down from battling with each other or have been affected by the blue flag traffic. And Blades gets loose. Cookie's going to go down to the inside. They both lose quite a bit of momentum, though. And Luke is right there trying to work his way through lap traffic, going all over the track, going way down low, trying to get his way by, sliding back up, trying to get that momentum. Probably going to go, yep, slides right back down to the inside. He's just... Trying his best to do what he can and make any kind of move 
um, by that lap traffic, but it's going to be very difficult because Vulcan is running multi-lined. He's running outside some turns, sometimes he's running inside, so it's going to be hard for Luke to notice when to make the move. However, when it comes to Cookie and Blades passing uh, passing BT back there, that was not uh, that hard. They both just went around the outside. And then Luke finally makes the move on Vulcan, gets by him, but here we go to a three-wide battle between NSA, HT, Decoy, um, Vulcan possibly. Lots of lap traffic, lots of lappers right there that are that are just duking it out right here and slaunch stuck behind him and it looks like that's opix actually i think slaunch is passing opix for the lead unbelievable the lap traffic playing a huge role and now slaunch trying to make the move opix uh, surely is yelling for that lap traffic to blue flag and get out of the way but it's not gonna happen slaunch just gets by opix through the lap traffic and he's dicing through it right now this is really unfortunate the lap traffic has definitely not worked out in opix's favor extremely unfortunate opix is certainly going to need a caution now unless lap traffic just becomes even more insane and allows them to catch up even further um likely likely opix will need a caution we'll have to wait and see though i mean he definitely he could catch slaunch especially if somebody blue flags him not really sure nsa oh ht getting out of the way right there that was pretty close almost wasn't able to avoid Opix, but just barely did it. Still a pretty clean run here for these 1-2 drivers, and it doesn't really look like Slaunch is getting away, but it doesn't really look like Opix is gaining either. I mean, this gap is staying uh, substanti substantially similar. They are not moving, but we have somebody down. Could this be a caution? Yes, it is. Let's check out the replay. Uh, Turkey going down and Vulcan wrecking off of him. There's a spectacular crash right there to have our first caution of the race come right at the end of the race, guys. That time flew by. I don't know if you realized it, but that time just absolutely flew by. And here we are off to a green-white checkered. Who's going to take it? Slaunch, Opix, Luke, or Blades on those front rows? We are green for the restart. The green-white checkered, and Luke is making a move on the inside. Slaunch well, did not follow the keys to the race. He already cheesed a restart in the rest of that pack three wide all the way through two wides everywhere final lap who's gonna take it luke has a pretty solid lead but opix is getting a nice run around that outside is he gonna be able to do it luke slides up no luke takes the win and then close finishes all the way behind him it looks like opix was in second and slaunch was third i couldn't tell past that point let's watch the replay let's see this green white checkered from blades point of view insane ending to the moto you guys can just see here from blades uh, essentially mid-pack point of view it is just crazy right here. Everybody duking it out for every position they can get. And that close battle for the lead. Luke slide, probably got a little bit loose right there and and was able to hold on to the win. So there's your results. Very, very tight. Luke takes the win at the, the first moto at Chili Cove. Opix second and Slaunch rounding out your top three. Blades Cookie rounding out the top five. And then NSA... Ninth, BT, Antique, Firmer, uh, HT, Commando Pack, Decoy, Cat did not start. So some of those names that you see uh, with not so good of a finish. Luke took the Moto 1 win. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Look forward to the next three motos this race has to offer. See you next time.